Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, hey, what's popping? All right, so as you can see, I have my first ever children's book right here. <laughs> yes, girl. Her. Right? So in today's video, we are going to go, well, I'm going to go over the book um, and explain what every line in it means. And yeah, so the book is Little Brown Girl. Did you know? <laughs> Find me. Right? So I just want to give a little backstory on this book. I actually wrote the book for the main fact that I wanted my daughter to grow up on books for little black children. Um, because I find that the books that they have out there for children, you know, of the darker race is actually like funny books and the ABC book. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are educational books out there for children and whatnot, but I wanted something where it can uplift a black child and let them know that no matter what, who they are is who they are. And to make sure that they feel beautiful inside, no matter what, make sure they don't know that they don't have to be pressured into changing who they are or what they look like to fulfill society's needs and what's not like stuff like that. So I actually wrote the book for that purpose. I'm actually working on a second book that is going to be titled My Child, You Are Enough. That book will go into like, I won't say detail, but it will give it more of a, a feel as in like, you know, letting the child understand that no matter what how, or how you feel, no matter what you go through, no matter how you feel, no matter if anyone is pressuring you or, you know, it is okay to love and be loved. It is okay to understand that you are not perfect. It is okay to lead and drift away from the crowd if you are feeling like pressure and stuff like that. It is okay to understand that who you are may not be who society likes or need and what's not, some things like that. And it is just letting them know that no matter what, no matter who you are, you are enough as a child. Do not feel pressured or anything in like this world that we live in. Because you know, this world is... Hmm. Hmm. Right, so... Today, we're going to go over the book, and without further ado, or if that's how you say it, let's get into it. All right, so immediately as you open the book, there is a page where you can write your child's name, or your child can write their name. Um, so it says, this book belongs to, um, just to have that assure you that that's that child's book. So it says, because I did include a parent and child duo, I will kind of try and Put a picture because I don't know if it's gonna focus on what's not. So the duo actually says, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am strong, and I am love. I can change the world, I will love my curls. They will not knock me down, I will stand my ground. So hear me shout and hear my roar. I will not be silenced, my voice will be heard. Letting them know that no matter what, love yourself, understand that you have a voice, speak up if you want to speak up, do not let no one hush you. And okay, so the first line, or I would say the first page in the book, it says, Hey, brown girl, did you know your skin is like gold? We call it melanin. All right, so immediately off the bat, I wanted them to understand that you see, like, how as black people we stand in the sun and we reflect, and it's like a gold complexion that comes off of us, like that natural goldness that just comes off. Your skin is like gold. So we call it melanin because that's what we are made up of, melanin, all right? So the next page says, so rich, yet so pure. We glow in the sun and shimmer in the night because in, at, in the sun time, like I said, we have this nice glowing, you know, gold that reflects off of us and it's pure, it's rich, it just looks, it looks, it looks amazing, all right? So when I say shimmer in the night, I mean the same thing as the daytime because in the nighttime it's like a shimmer glare that comes off of our skin and it is beautiful beautiful right so the next page goes into saying hey brown girl did you know when you speak your voice shakes the earth letting them know that your voice is who you are so when you speak make sure it shakes or after saying when you speak your voice shakes the earth it goes on to say so do not be silent let your voice be heard and that goes back into making sure you understand that your voice can be heard all right so the next page it says little brown girl did you know your eyes sparkle like a thousand stars on a calm glowing night because there's that brightness in a in a child and it says after that 
it says, and when you cry, the earth will sigh. Meaning that when you cry, we all feel it. Like, we have to understand that we are one. We are united, especially as a race. We are united. We are one. We feel when someone else is hurting. That's what I actually want this part of the book to actually mean. So when I say, and when you cry, the earth will sigh. We all feel it. Going on, continuing, it says, so wipe your tears and show that smile. Little brown girl, you are strong. You are the light. Meaning, you are special. You are a special little human being on this earth, right? When I say show that smile, wipe your tears means it is okay to let people see you cry. It is okay to cry, but wipe your tears and understand that you are strong. You are more than what you feel. You are the light. You are amazing. Like, hurt won't last for long. So wipe those tears and smile. All right? So after the next page says, hey, brown girl, your hair is like wool. Don't you dare hate it. Just let it flow. So of course, our natural hair is like wool, like a sheep's wool, right? And I say, don't you dare hate it. Just let it flow. Meaning, Society has it where we may, we have to tame our hair, like we have to keep it put together, like well done. It is okay to wear it in an afro, in a puff, in its natural state. It is beautiful just the way it is. That's why I said don't you dare hate it, just let it flow. Even if you want to let it loose and just let it flow and what's not, right? Don't hate your hair, just let it flow. They will try to tame it. They will tell you straight it. Little brown girl, embrace it. This page is one of my favorite pages for the main fact that it is so much truth behind of this. The world will tell you to tame your hair. They will make you feel like your hair is unkept. It's not put together. Like if you go into the world with the afro in, or if you go to work, they'll be like, um, why didn't you do your hair? Like what is the difference between having a, a straight hair not done and an afro? You understand? And Afro, I want them to understand that an Afro mimics the, the trees that we see. So it's like we are, you know, beautiful in every single way that we are. All right. So I say they will tell you to straight it because for the simple fact, so many parents and so many people tell children like, oh, I'm going to straight your hair or you should straight your hair so it can look well put together. Or some people might straighten their children's hair for the simple fact that it is easier to tame. When I personally feel like it's a process of learning the child's hair and, well, knowing how to take care of that ex the specific texture of hair and what's not. So I will say that that's why I also went on to say, sorry, little brown girl, embrace it. Because at the end of the day, that is your natural state. That is who you are. Your hair is you. Your hair is your beauty. And that makes up everything that you are. So instead of letting the world tell you to tame it or letting someone tell you to straight it, little brown girl embrace it so the next page says little brown girl did you know you leave your footprints on the path you walk this page actually says a lot when i wrote this page i was meaning that when you walk on this earth you leave a footprint you leave your mark on this earth you when you walk your feet your prints of this every step that you take leads up to your success leads up to your future so leave a mark meaning leave a message every time you take your next step into an achievement or a, a success of something all right because after this page after i see you leave your footprint on the path you walk one foot at a time each step that you take little brown girl walk with grace meaning keep your head up do not let them see you with your head down it is okay to fail. It is okay to fall. Get back up and start again. Because remember, even if you have to start from the beginning, that is not a failure. That is a lesson to understand that. Keep going forward. Not because you had a little setback means you must just give up on whatever. Walk with grace. Hold that head up and understand who you are. Let the world see that each step, one step at a time, each step that you take, walk with grace. All right? So then the next page says, little brown girl, did you know? We come in different shapes and so does our hair. The world will stop and stare in a maze. It's magical, you see. 
no, you cannot touch my hair. So this page, this back and front page actually goes with saying, yes, we come in different shades, just not dark, just not brown, just not like the white, caramel, you know, we come in different shades. We come and I edit in a picture where it has the different shades of what we come in and what's not because we come in so many different shades. We can produce many different shades. So I want them to know that being black is not just about black or brown. It, we come in so many different shades and so does our hair because what a lot of people think that black people just have black hair. No, it comes white, red, orange, brown, light brown, what is it? Um, blonde and stuff like that. So I added some Afro pictures where they're just different shades of hair and what's not. So I said the world will stop in a maze because there are so many times that I see people stop and be like, oh, can I touch your hair? That's why I added in. It's magical. You see, no, you cannot touch my hair because they have to understand your hair is who you are. Like I said in the earlier in this video, your hair is who you are. So do not let every and anyone touch your hair because your hair needs the care that only you and probably your mom or your dad or someone in your family can manage and take care of to keep it the way it is. Like, don't, I, I just want them to know that, no, don't touch my hair. Just stare in a maze like you are, but do not touch my hair. The next page goes on to say, and it says, so wear your braids and show your face. Little brown girl, you finish that race. So this page actually means you can wear your braids. It doesn't, you don't always have to wear your afro or your puffs and what's not. You can wear your braids. You can wear the extensions with the braids in and stuff like that. But show your face when you do. Don't hide your face. Show your face because there's a lot of times that people is like, oh, um, I think you should wear straight hair instead. Or I think you should this and I think you should that, right? I wear straight hair for the fact that I am on a lock journey. I am starting my locks and I just needed something to put on and what's not. <laughs> but wear your braids. You can wear your braids. You can still be beautiful in whatever you choose to wear your hair in. And I go on to say, little brown girl, you finish that race because there's a lot of times children or adults, I should say, feel like because they failed or I wouldn't say fail because people call it fail, but I feel like um, when they have a setback in life, they, they tend to call it that and just stop, finish that race. As a child, understand that you are able and qualified to finish that race. If you set your mind on something and you know that this is what you want to do, especially in your future, you finish that race. Do not let the world stop you. Do not let anyone stop you. Do not let anyone hold you back. Finish that race. The next page goes on to say, little brown girl, this is your story. So hold your head high, meaning that the life that you live is your story. So make sure you hold your head high because this is the one that you write. Okay. So it says, don't let them bring you down. Stand your ground. Only you can write your story and live it how you want. Meaning, like I said, this is your story. This is your life. You can live it exactly how you want, especially when you get older and you set your mind on a goal to live in a way that you want to live. Do not let them bring you down. You stand your ground and make sure that you keep your eye focused on the ball and what you want to do, where you want to be in life, what you want to pursue in life, your goal, your, your focus. Stay focused. Live it how you want. That is exactly what this page says. All right. So the next page says, little brown girl, fix your crown. Don't let it tilt. Don't let it fall. This is another one of my favorite pages because Understand that you are a goddess. You are a queen. Hold your crown high. Do not let it fall and do not let it tilt. Fix it. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are everything. So fix your crown. Do not let it tilt and do not let it fall. Then the next page says, little brown girl, did you know you are royalty? A goddess on this earth. Because you are. You are a goddess. Do you see the complexion of your skin? Do you see how beautiful you actually? Girl, okay. All right, so the next page goes to say, your scars will tell your tales. Little brown girl, remember to stay brave. This page is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites because every scar that you get 
tells a story, tells what you've been through in life. Like it's, it, it, it's a message. Every scar in your body is a message. It will tell tales of the, the past that led up to this moment. Right. And I said, little brown girl, remember to stay brave because there's a lot of girls who think they should be scared or away from society. Like, remember to stay brave. Hold your head up and do not, do not feel like you have to succumb to a, a situation where you should always keep your head down and feel scared or something. Remember to stay brave because you are royalty, a goddess on this earth. All right. So then the last page says, do not change your face. Do not change your skin. Because little brown girl, you are beautiful in every single way. When I say do not change your face, do not change your skin, society makes people think, especially darker skin people, think that they should change the color of their skin. We should be lighter just to be, become, be portrayed as beautiful. You are beautiful just the way you are. Okay. When I say don't change your face, do not change your face. Do not feel like you should get Botox or surgery or this and that because you were made to look the way you look. That is perfect enough for me. That is perfect enough for the rest. Be who you are. Do not change your face. Do not change your skin because you are beautiful in every single way, every single shape, every single form that you are. Do not let anyone make you feel like you are not good enough because you are more than enough. All right, so the end of the book and the back of the book actually says, little brown girl, you are loved. Because I want them to understand that no matter what, no matter what the world throws at you, you are loved, you are beautiful, you are everything. We love you just the way you are. You are everything, all right? And like I said, I wrote this book for the simple fact I want my child to grow up on books where she can it would motivate her um let her know that she's worthy that she is beautiful just the way that she is that she is more than society would make her out to be every brown girl need this book all right so if you are interested in purchasing this book it is actually listed on the amazon um it is the only book on amazon actually that is named little brown girl did you know but it will be the first link in the description of this video um if you do purchase i thank you for your support and have a good one all right so thank you guys for watching please like subscribe tell me what was your favorite part of this in the comments discuss that right and um yeah so